Alright y'all, well, this is one of them videos you're not even sure really about making, but I figure we do our best, try to talk about safety on the water and wearing PFDs and things like that when we're out fishing and all, and, and something we don't talk about much, or at least Angie and I have never discussed it, is sun safety. And, you know, I was always one of them youngins that, that uh, I just get burnt and get dark and get burnt and get dark and get burnt and get dark. Heck, I mean, uh, when I went to school in Texas, I remember going in and the teacher asking mama, well, does he speak English? And I, I was so dark and I said, you know what? I, I struggle a little bit on them longer words, but the rest of it I do okay. But, uh, uh, you know, so I've always been dark complected and I've always been out in the sun, but it wasn't until later in life that I started saying, you know what? Maybe I need to be more careful. So uh, I started wearing long, you know, long shirts, long sleeve breeches, and of course the, the high performance stuff that we wear is cooler than it is wearing a cotton t-shirt like I used to, and 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 even cut off shorts or, or no shirt. And I mean, it's hard to believe that the the high performance stuff once it starts wicking and cooling you down, you're actually cooler wearing that stuff than you are not, you know. Um, and that a lot of people fight about that and a lot of people like I ain't wearing no long sleeve shirt in the sunshine Well, I'm telling you it, it it's cooler. Just trust me uh, Especially the, the the good stuff like we wear and I mean you don't have to, to, to break the bank to do it You know, I, I wear a lot of Magellan stuff from Academy But I mean that sort of stuff really really helps out and I mean you know, upper corner lower alabama a thousand percent humidity 100 degrees you know it, it's it's like the surface of the sun and armpit mixed together it's just a hot steamy day but it works but now i'm 50 years old you know i've got speckles and spots on me that need to be checked out and that's where i'm heading over right now go to a dermatologist so i'd recommend this is my second time third third time going to have but i actually got a spot on my face that i've been watching kind of concerned about you know and it's when i'm like all right i'm gonna go get it checked out so y'all stay tuned let's see what happens and we'll talk about some options all right well other than the copay that was pretty painless uh they checked me out and said and i'm not even going to attempt to name the two things that i had but two of them that i was concerned about are hereditary something or others and they're benign so there's no big deal the other thing was a fancy name for a busted blood vessel and i like i said i'm not even going to try to do the names but um that's the one that i was concerned with because it had irregular edges and, and it just didn't look right so uh but she said everything was good that i'm doing good with my sun protection so and that's what i was going to talk to you about is you know guys I, you know the long sleeve shirts the long sleeve breeches I wear a wide brim hat, you know, I wear the buff when I, when I remember it and I wear gloves a lot of times. I, I'm not going to say that I'm a, a hundred percent. They recommend the Neutrogena um, is, is what they recommended for the sunscreen. And I've got that in the big boat and, and I've got that in one of my kits that I carry on the kayak. And I don't always remember to put it on because, you know, as a soft plastic fisherman, a lot of times. I don't want to put stuff on my hands that I'm afraid is going to affect the taste of the bait that's going to go in a fish's mouth. I know it's an excuse, but it, it gets in my mind. If it gets in my mind, it, it messes with my play. So, but when we're out just paddling, doing stuff like that, make sure that you wear your stuff, wear your, you know, wear your, your good sun protection because we're not getting any younger. And, and this is the best way to stay on that preventative side uh and and go get yourself checked out i mean if especially if you're getting on up there in age you know there because i've got friends that that fish a lot and a lot of them have had things cut and and they have had cancers uh i had one buddy that had one type of cancer and then when they cut down into it he found another type of cancer underneath it so you know it's a very real concern and and you know the older we get the more we got to to, to try to to, to stay ahead of, of things getting checked. Cause I mean, it, your family loves you and, and, and they want to have you around and you need to be fishing for as long as you possibly can. And don't let, I guess, pride or hard headedness, uh, get in the way of going and get stuff checked out. You know, I mean, I turned 50 this year. That's the whole reason I had to go get that scope and that wasn't no fun either, but I'm, I made the, the, the commitment to my bride that I will do everything I can to try to stay on top of my health. 
So, uh, this is your feral safety moment, but go get checked. Uh, those of us that spend a lot of time in the sun fishing, chasing critters, it's a lot of reflection coming back at you. Man, like I said, it, it didn't take 20 minutes in there. And, and I did it after a night shift. Uh, other than a little old copay, that's all it took. So, go get your jobs done. Y'all take care. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.